Hello, my third graders, how are you? Here with you, hopefully, one last time, one last video, one last drawing, and uh, hopefully by, by the fall, September, we'll be together again when you are new fourth graders, Mrs. Tanner, Mrs. Taylor's class, and um, we'll do one more drawing together, because I'd rather see you in person. Hopefully the next time you see me, we'll be in the art room and not on another video. I love to making them, Certainly love getting your pictures back. Um, some very cool Snoopies. Really good Snoopies, by the way. Really good Snoopies and good lemurs and, and some really nice Charlie Browns. Okay? So, I don't know if you're going to know who this next character is. I don't. It's, it's from a movie. It's called Guardians of the Galaxy. Might be a little young for third grader. I'm not really sure. But this is Baby Groot. G-R-O-O-T. So in the first movie, Groot is this big, giant, tree-looking creature with branches for arms and roots everywhere and stuff. And I don't want to spoil it for you, but something happens at the end, and they end up growing another little baby Groot. And you can see our little baby Groot is, is growing out of this little pot, this little potted plant. So we're going to draw this picture. Um, I think you're going to find this, this drawing pretty easy to do. So you're going to need a piece of paper and a pencil and an eraser, and you're going to want to turn that paper vertical, up and down, okay? Because Baby Groot is tall, and he's not very wide. So, and we're going to do this drawing together. You can see his little picture right here. There's little Baby Groot. And I wanted to color in the leaves green just so you could tell what's a leaf and what's the tree, the root. Okay? Hope you guys are probably just finishing up with all of your schoolwork from your teachers. And maybe we'll get we'll get one more. We'll get this drawing in. If you can get it done, that's great. If you're looking for a little relaxation time and you don't want to do any more schoolwork. Of course the weather's the weather's getting really nice outside, so I'm sure you guys are outside as much as I am. Okay, so I'm going to break this drawing down into three sections. Our bottom section is going to be the pot where he's growing out of. The center section will be his body and his arms. And then the top section will be his head. His head is oversized. It's, it's, it's bigger than uh, a normal person's head. So what I'm going to do I'm going to start kind of like by making a large letter U. A letter U. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to come down. So the bottom of my U is a little bit flat. It's not perfectly flat, but it is, you know, it almost looks like we're making a tulip or doing a flower or something. So it kind of comes down, curves around sort of flat in the bottom, and then curves back around. So that's kind of the shape we're looking for. And you can see what I mean by breaking it down into a third. If I took this, it'd be top third, middle third, bottom third. I don't know what size piece of paper you're working on, but that's kind of, you know, so the head is a pretty good size. The head is, you know, a little bit bigger than the other parts. Now, he is a tree, so he's got little branches and little things growing up. It looks like his hair is spiked up, but he's actually a tree. So what we're going to do from this line to this line is we're going to draw little kind of like pointy little triangles. And they can be different sizes. They can be different directions. Right? Almost looks like Flames of a fire. I'm even going to come, I'm going to add a little one over here. I'll add a little one on that side. And I'm going to add a little one on this side. Actually, that might be a little too low. Okay. Kind of like that. Have some peeking out if you want to overlap. You 
could have some overlap in the back because there's not each lot. At the top of his head. As far as the leaves, uh, he's got leaves on the top of his head, he's got leaves on his elbows, he's got leaves on his body. I'm going to wait. I'll, we'll go back at the end. And that way, you know, once you start making the leaves, it gets easier because you're doing a bunch of them. So we'll, we'll go back and do the leaves together. So for now, we're going to hold off on that part. Right now, we're just doing the branches or roots of his head. Now, Baby Groot has big eyes. So right about in the middle, maybe a little bit more toward the bottom. Two nice big round eyes. He's going to have a little mouth, very small little smile. <laughs> now he's got these gigantic pupils. His entire eye is a pupil. So we're going to do a couple reflections in each one. So up in this corner, I'll draw a nice big circle. And then in the middle, I'm going to draw a smaller circle. Now, if you're going to color this in, you're probably going to want to wait. If you're only doing a pencil version, then you could probably color it in with your pencil. But if you're going to color it in later, I would wait and do this black with a black marker or colored pencil, whatever you're using. But since my pencil is a black marker, My marker's running out. Okay. So you have two nice, a big reflection and a small reflection in each eye. Okay. So, um, his body is kind of like a little twisted root. So it's going to be considerably smaller than his, um, his head, I would say about that wide. Now this is the second third, right? We're not going all the way to the bottom. So I'm gonna stop right about there. That gives me plenty of room for the pot at the bottom that he's growing out of. So I'm gonna curve him a little bit, right? Little baby Groot likes to dance, so his body a lot of times is curved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him just kind of go over a little bit and then come back just to give the body a little bit of pizzazz. So I'm gonna curve it a little bit. Now the easiest way to make it look like it's twisted around, we don't wanna just draw a line straight across, it's gonna look like he's wearing a striped sweater. So let me show you an easy way how to do that. I'll do it over here first. I don't want you to draw on your paper, you, but just to practice, I'll practice, you watch, okay? So what we're gonna do is lines like this. They're gonna go kind of like that. Those are the lines. They go down a little, slant, over, and then down, like that, okay? So that's kind of the shape that we're gonna be doing. It'll kind of make it look like it's vines or roots wrapped around, right? So I'll start here, over, touch. Slant, over, touch. First down, then over, then down. Okay? So you can see that I come out of this line, and then I go back into this line. That way it doesn't go straight across. And it, it looks like it's wrapped around. Right? So you go down. So he, here's the body. You're going down with the body, and then you're slanting over and going back down with the body again. Okay? And if you can get the knack of that, then wrapping the body and the arms in that will be a piece of cake. So, before I do the arms, I want to do the pot at the bottom. So, here's the easiest way to do the pot. We're going to do the top of the pot first. I'm not going to start at the bottom of my body. I'm actually going to come up. That's the top of my pot right there. Behind him. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to almost a point. Then I'm gonna go 
across. I'm going to touch the body. See how I'm touching those lines? Or you can just draw them down so they do touch. But this is very important that his body touches this line right here. And then I will go over, curve around, and come back to there. So I started up high, down, point, down to a point, and then this line curves a little bit. It doesn't go straight across. If we were looking straight down in the pot, it would be a circle. But because we're looking from the side, it's more like an oval. And you can make that pot as big as you want. Then the side of the pot will go down. It's going to go in a little bit. Pot's always going to be a little bit smaller at the bottom than it is at the top. And in the bottom order also, just like this line curves, this line's going to curve a little bit too. If you're drawing a round object, the top and bottom are never going to be straight across. They're going to be slightly curved. And if you want, you can draw a table right here. Now, in the picture, they've got a little bit of dirt, which is probably a good idea. So, just little clumps of dirt that show that he's growing out of dirt in the pot. The dirt doesn't go all the way to the back. It would overflow if it was too high. So, this dirt is just around him. So, this, this would be brown, but we'll talk about color in a second. So, now we just have to do the arms. Um, I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the body. I'm going to draw the sides first, and then we'll do the wrapping. So right about here, this arm is going to go down. And then it's going to go up. And it's going to go down and up. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top line. At that very top line, I'm going to make a thumb. It's just a little finger sticking up. That's all. Just go up, around, and curve back down. Okay? And then this line down here, you can see that it's not touching the thumb. This line down here is going to curve out and around and back. We'll make that a finger. And I'm going to put another little finger attached to that one. If you remember in first grade, we did the flamingo. We made the feathers like that, where we did the big feather at the bottom, the next one smaller, the next one smaller. So I'll do another finger. And this third finger is going to come back and connect to the thumb. Okay? Actually, I'm going to make that line go a little bit higher and touch the middle of my thumb. Oh, that looks so much better. And then I drew a little bump here for the heel of his hand, which you can do if you want to. Okay? And now before I do the wrapping of the vines, or the roots around, we'll hop over and do the other arm. The other arm's going to be about the same place, about there and there. Except this one, I'm going to start on the bottom one. I'm going to go down and curl around. I'm going to stop right before I get to the body. And I'll do the same thing with the other one, down. Whoops, that's a little skinny. And right around. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this inside line. That's the first one I made. I'm going to touch the body. And I'm going to go down and just kind of curl around. That's his finger. Okay. So I, I, that's really hard to see there. So here's his body. Here's the two lines. I took this inside line and I just touched the body and came down and then just curled out and just kind of like made like a little finger. And you could do more than one finger if you want. And then this line will just come down and just attach that one. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing when we wrap. Right, I'm going to go down, kind of like a backward letter S. It kind of looks like it's wrapped. The trick is the lines are slanted. They don't go straight across the body or straight across the arm. They, they go on a slant. So it looks like it's wrapped around. 
Okay? Okay, so now we're going to go back and do our leaves. When you do your leaves, they can be big ones, they can be small ones, but what you want to do when you make your leaf is just do a slightly curved line and then it points at the end and it kind of comes back. So small, wide, pointy. But that's kind of what you want your leaves to look like. They're kind of football shapes, pointy on both ends. So I'm going to maybe do a little leaf coming out of the body. And you can do a little line in the middle of the leaf, right? You can go like that and then put a line right in the middle. And I'll put one over here on the bottom of the body. Put one right at his elbow. Maybe this elbow. And I'll put one maybe over here on the side of his head. One up here, coming off the top of there. And you can do them wherever you want. Some on the sides. You can do some on the tips of the roots. Or the hair, whatever you want to call it. Maybe as many leaves as you want. And that's our baby Groot. So here's the picture. I don't know if I showed you this before. So baby Groot is, uh, his pupil is going to be black. His body is going to be brown. Probably want to go with a lighter brown, I think, because then you'll be able to see your lines better. Um, if you have something dark, you might want to trace your lines first. Because if you only have pencil lines for those lines wrapping through his body and his arms, and then you color it with a dark brown, your pencil line is going to disappear. So if you have a marker, you can trace it first. Or you can even trace those lines with a dark brown colored pencil or a dark brown crayon. And then do just color in the body with a lighter brown. You could do that too. And then the leaves would be green. That way it gives you a little bit of color pop on there. Okay? And that's our baby root. So please make sure you send these back to me. So thank I want to thank all of my, my third graders, third graders, third graders um, and your parents for not only doing the drawings, but getting them to me so that I could see your artwork. So thanks mom and dad for that. So when you're done with your baby group, make sure you email them to me, mdelpazo at germantowncsd.org. Okay, I can't wait to see your drawings. And hopefully the next time you see me, we'll be in the same building. Okay? We'll see you later, third graders. Take care.